guys, so today I will be doing a product review for you guys and I will be talking about the very hyped up mascara. I've been doing mascaras for like the longest time, but I did want to try this one and it is the Lash Potion Mascara from Revlon. So many people have talked about this and I wanted to try this out and see what is all the hype about and today I will give you my review on it. You guys will see how I apply this to my lashes and how it looks before and after kind of feel. So I hope you guys like this video and I will zoom you guys in to my eyes so you can see it a little bit better. So I will be showing you guys this eye with it. Um, hopefully you guys can see it and it's in focus as much as possible. I already curled my lashes as much as I could so I'm going to put the first layer of this on and you guys will see it now. So already you can see that it lengthens and pretty much volumizes my lashes. It keeps the curl pretty well. Um, it is a waterproof mascara, so it is going to keep the curl better than most mascaras. Um, it does, it doesn't clump as much as m other mascaras, but it does clump a little bit. Um, uh, when you add a little bit more layers to it, you'll see in a minute. But compared to the lashes that have no mascara, there's a huge difference. We're going to add a few more layers and then compare it again. Okay, so this is how it looks with only two layers of mascara on and I think it looks amazing. Like no other mascara has ever given me this much volume and this much fullness and length. Um, it's pretty incredible what this mascara does to your lashes. Uh, so yeah, this is how it looks compared to no mascara lashes and two layers of this lash potion. So it's pretty incredible, the difference, um, very noticeable. I absolutely love how it looks right now. I think it looks amazing. So this is how it looks. My first impression of this mascara, first time I ever tried it, was that I hated it. I completely hated it. I thought it was so liquidy and like it was just way too much on my lashes. I thought it was super clumpy. I thought it didn't really do anything. Um, and I also thought it was very, very, very difficult to take off after. Um, I still think it's very, very difficult, but I am completely in love with this. And I think this is my new favorite mascara. Um, not only because it's waterproof and it lengthens and it volumizes your lashes, but it also, like, it shows that it's there, like, you have lashes. I think this is a really, really good mascara for anyone who is trying to make them look very, very long and just very fluttery and cute and pretty and just perfect lashes. This is definitely it. I think it's really, really nice. Um, I can't even, I don't even have anything bad to say about it except that it's really difficult to take off but that's because of the waterproof formula or whatever. The The tip that I'm going to give you for that is I use um, baby oil first and I put baby oil on my lashes and I kind of rub it in a little bit. I leave it on for a few minutes and then I take it off with a, with a makeup remover. Um, usually that helps a lot. Um, sometimes I have to do it twice, but usually it takes it off pretty well. So um, that's, the, the, that's the tip I recommend for you guys if you guys have difficulty taking off really tough mascaras like that. I definitely recommend using baby oil or um, olive oil for that matter. So I hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. Um, if you like this mascara, please leave your comments down below and thumbs it up if you do like this mascara. And if you like these types of videos, then you could thumbs it up as well. And I guess I will talk to you guys later and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!